Zach, the last few games you've looked like you've been due for a goal and to get two tonight on the same shift. Just take us through that shift. What you see? Um, we just kept it simple. I don't. I can't really remember. I kind of blacked out a little bit, but um, we've been working on that all weekend. Pucks to the net and driving the net hard on that second one. So stuck to it. After that first goal, was your mentality to get right back out there and get another one? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> How nice is it to play with a guy like Smitula that can really you know, dish the puck out and create open space for you know, his linemates? It's, uh, it's been really nice. You know, he's my roommate. Uh, we've had some frustrating last couple games, but just been sticking to it. Finally, starting to find the back of the net. Is it nice to go into the, you kind of got a break before the beat, but nice to go in on a, on a high note? Definitely. Uh, you know, after a rough start, finally turn it around, get some confidence in the locker room. Thanks, Zach. Thanks. Thanks. Coach General Thompson, I need Yeah, obviously, um, anytime you get four points against a real good uh, Notre Dame team, uh, you're obviously doing something right. I thought our guys played hard today um, in the third period. I didn't think we had the energy and, and the sense of urgency in the first two periods. I thought we were a little bit lax. I thought they beat us to some pucks, and they wanted more than us for the first first two periods. I think getting that first goal, the power play goal, you know, in evening the score gave us a little bit of life. Um, but uh, in the third period, even though we didn't have great legs, we, we we found a way to play a little bit smarter, dig deeper, and and uh, you know, come up with you know that one big shift that got us a couple of goals. And then, you know, I don't think they. You know, we were in a good spot until we took the pen penalty and they, you know, they've got some skilled, they got a lot of skill in their power play, although the, the number doesn't show it, but uh, you know, they had two power play goals tonight and, and they obviously had another one uh, late in that game there to, to make it a little bit closer 3-2, but um, I like our mentality in that third period and um, you know, over a six period weekend and you come away with, with four points, it's, it's great uh, tribute to our kids and the way they uh, approach the weekend. So we'll, we'll take a few days off. And get ready, um, you know, for a term in Boston Garden a week from Monday. Building off that uh, point you made on the power play for them, they came in to the game, I think, second to worst in the country on power play percentage. They got three over the weekend. Is that just something they were doing? The pucks were finding the right sticks, or uh, what do you see from that? Yeah, well, I mean, they, they've got a lot of skill in that power play, right? So, I mean, I can't speak to where they were before this, but I, I know they've got skill. I know they got guys who can handle a puck, and they got shooters, they got playmakers, and, um, you know, so we were, you know, fortunate to. Uh, you only give up. I thought we killed penalties well, um, and then you know later in the game there, we just got caught. That they, they they use a different, little bit different alignment. And we got caught out of the shot lane, and they got the puck to the net and, and a rebound. Um, I, I would assume their their percentage will go up uh, as the season continues down the end. But um, you know, for us, it's uh, we just got to you know we got we're killing penalties better. We just gotta um, you know give up less power play goals. So. The, that third period there, you started off, you guys came right out of the gate with that quick two goals by Zach. And what was it that happened? Even even after those goals, there was quite a few opportunities in those opening few minutes of that third period. What was it that changed mentality-wise from the second period? Yeah, I think and we had you know, some conversation in the locker room in between periods, and you know, I think to a man, they realized that hey, we got a, we got a great opportunity here in front of us. You know, uh, there's a team that's uh, a point ahead of us we can jump them in the standings it's an opportunity for a point four point weekend we've got some time off um, before our next game you know let's just throw everything we can at them and and see where we go and um and i thought we did i thought our, our legs were really good to start the third period and a sense of energy we got pucks down low and and uh you know we capitalized and uh the first our after Reese's first goal, we were, we, it was a clearing play by Cockrell, made a nice play, put it into a, a into an area, and he came down, got the puck, and made a nice shot. And then, and then obviously the second one, his second one, he just attacked the net really well. So, um, you know, it was a good start. And then I thought we, we had we carried the momentum there for a bit. Did you feel that Benning and Daru had really, really good games? Even outside of Benning's two assists, I felt they were you know, good in the D zone and did some of the little things. Yeah. No, they. 
you know, I thought the, the pair, I thought all, all of our defense pairings played well, but I, they did play well. Uh, Daru and, uh, it's not Daru, but excuse me, uh, Benning and Sossner are logging a lot of minutes. You know, um, they're not just playing with, you know, I've got them playing with other partners and, you know, they're in around 27, 28 minutes and I think they've been really uh, good, effective, uh, logging a lot of minutes and, um, and breaking pucks out for us really well. So they're, those two are good rocks for us and then I thought the, the rest of the core uh, for the total group of six was, was really good. Coach, sort of a scary play on uh, early in the first where Dax kind of shot it into the bench, uh, almost hit you there. Uh, did it get a piece of you, or did you got my temple, away? my right side of the temple? So I've been hit to the head plenty of times, so it's not going to do any damage. But uh, I've got two momentos from Dax: one that's still on my thigh with a deep bruise, and one now it's in my head. So uh, uh, so I'll have to be body a more injury? yeah, upper body injury. We'll have to uh, be more careful. I'll be more careful when he's on the ice as the pucks come to the bench area. Coach, real quick, any Adam or Ryan updates? Say that again. Adam Breeder or Ryan Russell uh, updates. They're both day to day, and uh, I would anticipate both of them being ready to play um, a week from Monday. As a quick follow-up, what, what do you feel like has brought Benning's game up up a notch from last year? Yeah, um, and, I, and I get that asked, and I, in my answer, I'm not trying to be glib about it, is that you know he has played better from the beginning of the year, but last year his last 15 second half of the season was really good so he's picked off where he left last year at the end of the season and he's been consistent this year and we've seen it for a full year one you can say experience right he's played he's played a year in the league he's really smart cerebral he sees the ice really well um, and he's a little bit stronger out there you know skating's a little bit quicker and um, and he works at his game an awful lot so uh, he ended the season this way for us. He's continued uh, the full season. Now we've got a, a sample size a little bit larger of 25 games versus, you know, um, what it was in, uh, you know, last year, just the last 15, 18 games.